Greeting viewers, uh, welcome to my other YouTube video. So in this tutorial, I will teach you that how you can send a message to any Telegram chat channel, any Telegram uh, with the help of our Telegram API. So for generating a Telegram API, I'm just going to highlight some things on there. Uh, for uh, you, for generating a chat ID, you need to be get the ID from the boot father, which is a built-in. Uh, that's a built-in. Uh, boot in a telegram so you can you just need to be send a few commands and then it will give you the token access of your uh, telegram account and then you have to take a channel id channel chat id of any uh, of any channel uh, for which you want to create a boot uh, so that's it and the next things if you are using a, a pie charm then you have to install the one library so go to the file click on setting and then click on the plus icon to install the libraries on there so just waiting for it's become a, yeah so you have to be write down python that dash telegram dash boots so that's the official libraries as i already have uh, as i already installed this library on my system so i do i don't have to be install it again and again so once you install the library uh, then you just need to be import the import telegram and import as y n i c o asynchronous functions so import so import asynchronous functions so uh, the basic things are what's the purpose of importing asynchronous function because in a telegram board you can't send a message uh, without the asynchronous or wait keywords so it be asynchronous means that the function is going to be wait until it get a response back from the telegram api regarding that the sms has been sent successfully or is it come within any errors like the errors can be bad uh, description bad image bad uh, or unauthorized access or uh, the token is not matched to your original account so this kind of issues that you can see during the uh, while calling the api so first of all what you have to do as i already uh, uh, you have to create a uh, two things on there first of all you have to create a asynchronous function uh, for creating an asynchronous functions on there i will explain you the uh, function step by step so you first of all you have to create the asynchronous functions the definitions is a de uh, is a predefined keywords in a python for the functions and send send uh, any function that you can see message that you want to send and the channel id chat id of a specific channel and the token uh, that's the token access so for accessing the for making a request first of all you have to authenticate your token from the telegram api once it get the response then you can uh, by with the help of uh, await keywords you can send a message boot dot send message chat id and text whatever you want to send and once it's done then it's come up with the message sent successfully if it's not then it's come with the base exception i'm using a base exceptions because it's a more in-depth is give you the proper overview that what what's the reason of failing a uh, failing while sending a message what's the reason why not send the message to the telegram boot so the next things i'm going to import i'm going to run the scrollness functions so for um, simple functions how you can run the simple function just pass the name of the functions pass the parameters uh, which you are going to pass them and then uh, call the function that's it but for the scrollness function you have to write down a s y n i n and c o Asynchronous functions dot run dot run is a command that you are going to run the functions send send is the sms uh, functions and the message string you can send you can replace it with the any message like example this is the test from telegram boot so this is a text from the telegram boot channel id i already import the channel id uh, so i don't have to be import that again uh, my token access i already imported as you can see on the right hand side i created two variables on there chat id and the my token access so uh, you just need to be right on these functions and click on send so now after a few minutes after a few seconds i get a message the message sent successfully let's see on the chat so here you go as you can see that this is the text from that telegram boot so uh, the message has been sent successfully without having an issue so you can use it you can use the telegram api for different purposes like uh, for access uh, for requesting a payment for uh, requesting a uh, 
a new post for accessing a new post for creating a new post automatically with the social media uh, APIs so you can use it in a lot of different ways but there is also a lot of other methods so in the upcoming video I will let you know that how you can create a token or how you can generate a token on a pipe um, on a telegram with the help of a boot father and how you can access the chat channel ID of any specific channel so yep that's what uh, that's good so if you have any further query or if you do not understand the um, course so just let me know in the comment don't forget to subscribe my channel for the upcoming uh, latest video thanks bye